In this tutorial, we are diving into Linked Helper's brand new action – Employees Extractor. Now you can convert company pages into a list of valuable leads in no time. Neither LinkedIn nor Sales Navigator allows you to easily filter profiles across hundreds of companies at once, but Linked Helper can. Employees Extractor automates the process of visiting company pages on LinkedIn and collecting employees listed in the People tab. Let's set up a campaign and explore the use cases. Employees Extractor works a bit differently than other Link Helper actions. It works in its own dedicated campaign type designed for processing organizations, Employees Extractor template or Organizations Extractor template. If you choose the Organizations Extractor template, you'll need to manually add the Employees Extractor action to the campaign later. We'll stick with the Employees Extractor template. Once the template is selected, you'll see a brief explanation of how the campaign works, but we'll also see it in action during the campaign execution. Next, set the target campaign. This step is crucial. Employees Extractor collects profiles but can't store them directly in its own successful list. There are processed companies instead. And the collected profiles need to be stored in the queue of another Link Helper campaign for further processing. Select or create a target campaign for storing these profiles. Then you can choose to filter employees by using keywords. This tab is optional, but it can make a big difference in the quality of your leads. If you don't provide any keywords, Linked Helper will simply collect the first 1000 employees listed in the People tab of each company page, even if there are more. Also, pretty soon you'll face the LinkedIn search limit this way. If you provide a single keyword, Linked Helper will filter employees based on that keyword and collect up to 1000 profiles, matching your filter. By adding multiple keywords, Linked Helper will run separate searches for each keyword if there are not enough profiles fitting the first keyword. Let's add several keywords. I recommend using Boolean search phrases for more accurate targeting and avoid spending search limit on irrelevant leads. You can also limit the number of employees collected from each company. For example, if you set a limit of 50 employees, Linked Helper will stop collecting as soon as 50 profiles are added to the target campaign, even if more are available. This is a good option if you are focusing on quality over quantity or want to target smaller teams within an organization. Great, we've just created the campaign. Now let's add companies to the queue. Select the source and platform, in this case, the organization page on LinkedIn. Without any filters, the largest companies, those with thousands of employees, will appear first in the list. If you proceed with these companies without proper filtering, you might quickly hit LinkedIn's commercial search limit while collecting profiles from just the first few campaigns. That's why applying organization filters is so important here. Refine your search by setting filters like location, industry and company size. For example, we'll start by targeting small companies located in the EU, working in e-learning with a headcount of up to 200 employees. Once you've set your filters, start collecting organizations. And stop the process whenever you feel is enough. Once your companies are collected, you can open the queue to review and filter out any relevant ones. If you spot any that don't fit, simply exclude them from the campaign. Try using Linked Helper's organization name filter. 
like typing institute to exclude university-like organizations. Often, these pages have alumni rather than active employees. You can also manually go through the list to remove any pages that don't align with your goals. Here is a look at the workflow. Keywords we've set the maximum number of employees to collect from each company, and the target campaign where collected profiles will be saved. Let's start the campaign and see how it goes. Linked Helper will go through the following process. Visit the company page and open the People tab. Apply the first keyword filter and collect the available profiles. If fewer than 50 employees are collected, the limit we set. Linked Helper will use the next keyword and repeat the process until it reaches the specified number of employees or uses all keywords. Once the desired or available number of employees is collected, Linked Helper stops and moves the company to the successful list, while the profiles go into the queue of the target campaign. Let's check that campaign now. And here are the profiles we collected. Although this page appeared in the organization search results, it seems to be a university page. Since there is no People tab, Linked Helper can't collect any profiles from it. As a result, this organization will be moved to the failed list of the action. Now let's switch things up and target larger companies with up to 5,000 employees to see how Linked Helper performs in this scenario. We'll set the employee collection limit to 1,000 profiles and broaden the search using the OR Boolean function. Linked Helper will then conduct multiple keyword searches, collecting up to 1,000 profiles per search. The action stopped due to insufficient credits. Let's take a closer look. As you can see, the campaign is currently in the sleeping state. By clicking the In4 icon, we can find out why. It appears I have run out of load LinkedIn search results credits. Here it shows how many credits I have used. As I mentioned earlier, if you are using a free LinkedIn account and collecting a lot of profiles daily, you might hit the LinkedIn commercial search limit, which prevents new searches until the next month. You can increase the limit and the campaign will resume, but we recommend not exceeding 200 search results per 24 hours to stay within LinkedIn's limits. That's why it's also best to do the proper filtering when searching for companies and apply keywords using Boolean functions in the action settings. You can also collect employees from Sales Navigator and apply more detailed filters on the company search. The filtering power of Sales Navigator will improve your search quality. Still, the action will be executed via basic LinkedIn. And that's how you use Employees Extractor to gather hundreds or even thousands of employees from company pages on LinkedIn. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more linked helper tutorials.